DevExpress is introducing a community preview version of our client-side web dashboard control that can be embedded into a pure JavaScript application. This new control uses the server-side ASP.NET MVC backend to store dashboards, define data sources, and so on. In this video, we'll create a simple web application where end users can create multiple dashboards and switch between the designer and viewer. Start by creating a new empty web application. Make sure to enable the MVC checkbox. Now we need to add the required references. Right-click References and select Add Reference. Switch to Extensions and filter all available DevExpress DLLs by dashboard. Select devexpress.dashboard.core.web and web.mvc5 DLLs and click OK. First, we need to configure our server-side part. In the global.asax file, we need to specify the URL route to handle client requests. To do this, pass the required root prefix to the map dashboard root method. Note that we need to add the devexpress.dashboardweb.mbc namespace to use this method. Second, we need to create some storage to keep the dashboards. We'll use the set dashboard storage method exposed by the default instance of the dashboard configurator class. In this tutorial, we'll use file storage to keep the dashboards in a web server folder. Right click the app data folder and add the dashboards folder inside it. Finally, we should supply our end users with data that needs to be visualized in a dashboard. Right click App Data and add the endwind.mdb access database that ships with our DevExpress components. Switch to the web.config file and add connection strings that will be available in the web dashboards UI. The first string specifies connection to the NWIN database added to the project, while the second string allows users to establish a connection to the online AdventureWorks OLAP cube. To configure our client-side web dashboard control, right-click the project and select Add HTML page. Change its name to index and set this page as a start page. The web dashboard control requires scripts and style sheets to be rendered on the client side. To download these resources, you can use our knowledge base article. The link is available in the description of this video. Download the bundles.zip archive from the attachment, unpack this archive, and add the bundles folder. Add the style sheet and scripts inside the head section in the following order. To identify our web dashboard inside the page, add a div element with the required ID and specify its position. Now we need to write some code to create and configure our client-side control. Create a new script tag and add the window.onload handler function. First, use Resource Manager to add bundled resources to the document object mode. Then, create a dashboard control and specify its endpoint that will be used to send requests to the server side. Finally, call the render method exposed by the dashboard control instance. Let's run the application and look at the web designer. Click create to create a new dashboard. 
I'll name it Northwind Dashboard and click Create Data Source. Here, select the connection to the Northwind database and click Next. Then run Query Builder, drop the Salesperson view, and select all columns. Click OK, and then Finish. Finally, click Create to create a dashboard bound to the added data source. Now you can add dashboard elements. Click the tree map icon to add a tree map. Select the tree map and use the link on its surface to bind it to data. Here, click Values and select the Extended Price field. Then click Add Argument and select Category Name. Add the product name as a second argument. Return to Category Name and use the Group Tiles option to group products inside corresponding groups. Add a list box filter to filter the tree map's data. Bind it to the Category Name field and move the list box to the left part of the dashboard. And our sample dashboard is ready. Save the dashboard and let's go back to Visual Studio and add some additional capabilities. Let's add the working mode options and set it to the viewer. This means that our web dashboard will act as a viewer at the application startup. Then add the dashboard panel extension that allows end users to switch between all saved dashboards. And let's run the application again. Our web dashboard works now in a viewer mode and displays a dashboards panel containing only a single Northwind dashboard. Click the Edit in Designer button to switch to the Designer mode. In the Dashboard menu, click New and create a dashboard based on the AdventureWorks OLAP connection. Add a chart and bind it to the Sales Amount Measure and Sales Territory Country Dimension. Then add a pie and bind it to the sales amount and sales channel. Save the dashboard and switch back to the viewer mode. Now the dashboard panel displays both dashboards and allows you to switch between them. To learn more about our dashboards, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.